Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss electrical topics in specialization. Electrical topics in specialization. Remaining electrical topics in specialization. Cells and batteries. Cells and batteries. What is a cell? Cell is a source of electrical energy. Cell is a source of electrical energy which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. Cell is a source of electrical energy which converts chemical energy into electrical energy is a cell. Which converts chemical energy into electrical energy. And this cells uh, essentially consist of mainly two different metal plates two different metal plates which are immersed in a fluid which are immersed in a fluid called as the uh, immersed in a fluid that fluid is called as electrolyte that means the cell is mainly consist of two metal plates two metal plates which are immersed in a fluid this is a fluid which are immersed in a fluid this fluid is called electrolyte this fluid is called electrolyte this is a this is one plate this is one plate it is act as a one plate is act as a positive one plate it is act as a negative that means it is a anode this is a cathode okay so cell is essentially consist of two different metal plates one is act as a positive one is act as a negative these uh, two plates are immersed in a fluid that fluid is called electrolyte that fluid is called electrolyte okay and uh, what is the process of electrolysis what is the process of electrolysis electrolysis is the process electrolysis is the process by which an electrolyte solution this is electrolyte solution by the uh, by which an electrolyte solution decomposed into ions decomposed into ions when direct current passed through in it when direct current passed through it through in it that means uh, you can say simply electrolysis is a process electrolysis is a process whenever a dc current flows through this electro electrolyte whenever dc current flows through this electrolyte the the electrolyte solution is decomposed into ions decomposed into ions okay this process is called electrolysis and applications of this electrolysis process are it is used the electrolysis process is mainly used in uh, ex extraction of metals from their ores extraction of metals from their ores that means extra extraction of uh, uh, iron from their uh, iron ores likewise okay and refining the metals and refining the metals and electroplating ed and electroplating and electroplating and some important terms used in cells are anode and cathode anode and cathode what is a anode the plate is connected to the the plate which is connected to the positive terminal through which the current enters to the electrolyte through which the current enters to the electrolyte is called as anode yeah, anode that means uh, uh, here the plate which is which is connected to the positive which is connected to the positive terminal through which through which the current flows uh, flows into the the current flows into the electrolyte it is a anode the plate which is connected to the positive terminal through which the current enters to the electrolyte this call it is called as anode it is called as anode and coming to the cathode what is a cathode the plate connected to the negative terminal the plate connected to the the plate connected to the negative terminal through uh, through which the current leaves the electrolyte through which the current leaves the electrolyte that means uh, from the anode current enters into the electrolyte uh, from the cathode the current leaves from the electrolyte okay leaves from the electrolyte these are anode and cathodes and what is the battery coming to the battery is nothing but a cell that means it is a combination of cells combination of cells is known as battery and the units of battery is ampere hours very 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 important units 
very very important very very important units of batteries ampere hours units of battery ampere hours and next faraday's law of electrolysis faraday's law of electrolysis that is the mass of ion is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that means the mass of ion is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity it is quantity of electricity that is q equal to it that is quantity of electricity the mass of ion m is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that is m equal to z it it is the faraday's laws of electrolysis and coming to the classification of cells classification of cells mainly cells are classified into two types primary cells secondary cells primary cells and secondary cells primary cells are nothing but use and throw cells use and throw cells use and throw cells that means once they are discharged they become useless once they are discharged they become useless that's why primary cells are use and throw cells and coming to the secondary cells this can be these type of cells can be reused by charging them by uh, reused by charging them and current supplied by this primary cells is very less the current supplied by this primary cells is very less and current supplied by this secondary cells is more than the primary cells more than the primary cells and the primary cells have low life low life that means uh, they are uh, very fast discharging and uh, secondary cells are more life because they can be reused by using charging by charging them and the cost of primary cells is very less prime uh, cost of primary cells is very less and the cost of secondary cells is more more than the primary and there is no maintenance because they are used through cells uh, we cannot uh, charge them here the we can charge them that's why they require constant maintenance that's why they, we require uh, these type of cells require constant maintenance and very important uh, examples of uh, primary cells examples of primary cells primary cells and their positive electrode that is uh, anode which is uh, used as a cathode and what is a electri electrolyte is used and average emf average emf of that particular cell first of all first one is dry cell dry cell first of all first one is dry cell in this dry cell main important bits are which uh, which material is used as uh, anode or positive electrode which material is used as negative electrode and what is the electrolyte used in that battery cell and uh, average emf main positive uh, that means anode which positive electrode or anode negative electrode or cathode and electrolyte these three are very very important for every cells first of all for dry cell carbon is used as a positive electrode or it is used as a anode and zinc is negative electrode and electrolyte is mgo2 magnesium dioxide magnesium dioxide and daniel cell in case of daniel cell positive electrode is copper negative is zinc negative is zinc maximum negative max, maximum zinc is used as a negative electrode negative electrode in case of dry cell positive electrode is carbon in case of daniel cell positive electrode is copper and electrolyte is h2so4 sulfuric acid and leclanche cell very very important leclanche cell in case of leclanche cell positive electrode is carbon negative electrode is zinc and uh, electrolyte is ammonium sulfate electrolyte is ammonium sulfate and coming to the clark cell clark cell positive electrode is uh, mercurous sulfate negative electrode is zinc and electrolyte is saturated zinc sulfate saturated zinc sulfate next western cell western cell positive electrode is cadmium negative electrode is mercury mercury and electrolyte is solution of cadmium sulfate solution of cadmium sulfate examples of secondary cells example of secondary cells secondary cells are mainly lead acid cells and addison cells lead acid cells and addison cells addison cell is also called as alkaline cells alkaline cells are mainly two types 
nickel uh, iron that means edison cells and nickel cadmium cells first of all lead acid cell lead acid cell in this lead acid cell positive electrode is lead peroxide positive electrode is lead peroxide lead acid cell is very very important very important lead in case of lead acid cell positive electrode is lead peroxide and negative electrode is sponge lead negative electrode is sponge lead that is lead and electrolyte is h2so4 and some water h2so4 and water and average emf of this lead acid cell is 2.4 at no load 1.95 at load 2.4 at no load 1.95 at load and coming to edison cell edison cell is nickel iron cell edison cell is nothing but nickel iron cell in this uh, positive electrode is nickel hydroxide nickel hydroxide and negative electrode is iron oxide ne negative electrode is iron oxide and coming to the electrolyte of this edison cell it uh, the electrolyte is 21 percent of potassium solution 21 percent of potassium solution and water and water and average emf is less than that of uh, lead acid cell this uh, the edison cell average emf is less than that of lead acid cell that is 1.37 at no load 1.2 at load condition and i already explained what is alkaline cells alkaline cells are nothing but mainly two types nickel iron and nickel cadmium cells and uh, the construction of uh, this nickel uh, nickel cadmium and nickel iron cells are same nickel iron cells are same except that in case of nickel cadmium the negative plate is used as a cadmium the negative plate is used as cadmium but in case of nickel iron that is the edison cells the negative electrode is iron oxide iron oxide that means uh, in nickel cadmium cadmium is used as negative plate Ni uh, nickel iron iron is used as negative negative plate and coming to the internal resistance of uh, cell depends upon internal resistance of cell depends upon area of plates area of plates that means we know that r equal to rho l by a that means uh, resistance r is in inversely proportional to the area inversely proportional to the area that means if area of the plates if the area area of the plates increases then internal resistance will be decreases that means uh, uh, if the internal resistance is decreased with increase in area and spacing between plates spacing between plates plates means positive plate and negative plates the spacing between plates uh, the internal resistance is decrease with decreasing in space that means if space is decreases the resistance will be decreases if space is decreases the rest internal resistance will be decreases and specific gravity of electrolyte specific gravity of electrolyte uh, the internal resistance decreases with the increase in specific gravity that means inversely proportional specific gravity is inversely proportional to with internal resistance and next capacity of battery capacity of battery capacity of battery depends upon mainly rate of discharge rate of discharge depends upon rate of discharge higher the rate of discharge means less the capacity higher the rate of discharge means less the capacity and temperature capacity of battery also depends upon temperature and this capacity is increases with temperature increases with temperature capacity is directly proportional to temperature directly proportional to temperature and area of plates increases with plate area increases with plate area that means uh, capacity that means capacity is directly proportional to area of plates area of plates proportional to area of plates okay and capacity of battery is increases with specific gravity if specific gravity increases the capacity of battery is increases okay next very very important topic is efficiency of battery efficiency of battery it is very very important it is very very important efficiency there are mainly two efficiencies 
first one is ampere hour efficiency ampere hour efficiency that is nothing but ah efficiency that is zeta ah equal to zeta ah equal to ampere hours during discharging during discharging by ampere hours during charging during charging uh, once again ampere hour efficiency equal to ampere hours that means ampere hours during discharging by ampere hours during charging that is IDTD by ICTC that means IDTD are uh, uh, due to, uh, during discharging ICTC are during charging during charging I means currents T time in hours okay and coming to the energy efficiency or watt hour efficiency energy efficiency or watt hour efficiency that is nothing but wh efficiency the efficient wh efficiency equal to ampere hour efficiency that means ah efficiency into average volts on discharge by average volts on discharge by average volts on charge average volts on discharge by average volts on charge average volts on charge that means what is AH efficiency it is IDTD by ICTC into average volts on discharge that you mean that means VD by average volts on charge that is VC that is VC that means uh, AH efficiency into VD by VC VD by VC and this uh, WH efficiency is always less than AH efficiency is always less than AH efficiency why because VD VD is always less than VC that means voltage at discharge is always less than voltage at charging voltage at charging that means uh, WH efficiency is always less than AH efficiency okay once again uh, efficiencies of batteries AH efficiency means ampere hours during discharging by ampere hours during charging in case of uh, wh efficiency ah efficiency into average voltage on discharge by average voltage on charge average voltage on charge and wh efficiency is always less than ah efficiency okay okay thank you friends in next video i will discuss battery charging battery charging or charging methods of batteries okay all the best thank you